Good morning. I am back on this Ford Ranger again. And uh, this is something I fixed about the same time I did the last video when I did the, um, the coil pack. Um, I also did a change the spark plug, wires, spark plugs, all that stuff. Got a whole tune up on it pretty much. But I still had one little issue of this thing. People that are looking at this piece right here probably already know where I'm going to go with this. Um, didn't want to start sometimes. I still had to crank it for about five seconds or so, turn loose with the key, and then crank it again. Then it would start. And it was getting old, and I was tired of messing with that. And I was discussing it with the guy at the parts store, and he says, Did you change the uh, crank sensor? And I said, no, no, I said, I, I thought about that, but then I wondered how come it only gives me a starting problem and it never quit on me while I was driving. And so he says he doesn't know. Sometimes they're like that. He says a lot of times he's heard of people changing the crank sensor and it'll fix that. Well, I got on YouTube and started looking at different people's videos and some of them said that yeah they'll quit running sometimes while you're driving it but it's usually a starting issue which i still don't understand why but because this is just a magnet inside here and it um in my case there's only two contacts in it so i'm assuming that there's just a coil of wire around this magnet a very fine coil of wire and that this uh, sensor whenever whenever something that's um, a magnetic conductor like any ferrous metal passes near that it's going to cause the magnetic field to to move to pulsate and uh, it's going to cause a, a slight current flow in that coil of wire the computer picks that up and uses that Let's crawl under here. I'm going to show you where mine is because it is so easy. It's underneath the motor on mine. And here's the new one. By the way, it did fix the car. It has not given me a starting issue since. It runs great. Here's the new one. And this is on the outside in my case. And I've seen this on other Fords for a lot, a lot of years now. I just haven't had to do this before. Did it one time on a Pontiac I used to have. Then I changed the coil pack on that to fix one problem. And then one time it quit running at work. I had to go and uh, put it on a trailer and, and bring it home. And uh, somebody gave me a ride home. And I went back the next day with a pickup truck and a trailer. And we loaded the car up on the trailer. And I ended up changing the pickup or this um, crank sensor which was on the side of the motor in that case and it actually went inside the motor and went through a hole but in my case it's on the outside of the motor this is the thing on the on the uh, pulley that spins around and each one of these things here will attract that magnetic field it'll pull on that magnetic field send a signal to the computer and, and that's pretty quick because you know this thing is turning at engine speed and look at how many of them are on there going all the way around. So anyway, it's um, pretty self-explanatory how to change it. Just two screws, unplug the wire, and you're done. It fixed it. It fixed it, and that is all I had to do. And something new in my part of the country we got a little bit of sunshine we have not had any of that it's still cloudy but we got some sunshine today sorry about the noise a couple doors over they're doing some bobcat work over there well I hope everybody's doing well with this coronavirus thing going on hope everybody has got everything under control um, I don't know what to say. I'm not having any issues. My job is okay. Yeah, we're having some restrictions, but nothing serious. The stores are closing early. The restaurants are 
not allowed to uh, have sit down or dine in restaurants anymore. Everything is carry out only and a few things like that. But this is March 21st and um, I'm doing fine. I appreciate the emails from those of you that, uh, that uh, thought about me and asked about me. And I hope everyone else is doing fine. They say there's no shortage of food. You don't need to go to the grocery stores and stockpile. Just You just need to take it easy and don't worry. Just keep your distance and don't travel outside any more than you need to. Well, hope everyone is doing fine. Make sure you get your nutrition and your exercise and especially your rest. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.